Hello and welcome to Good Morning KU. It's Friday. I'm Travis Calvin. It's the first Good Morning KU of the year. I'm Bray Ellis, and we're here to talk about sports. You know, uh, it is sports season because football's back in action after all the NFL got kicked off last night. Uh, I wasn't actually able to see much of it since I don't actually have TV, but Broncos and Panthers last night. Man, I, I, couldn't, I wasn't able to watch it either. It was, <laughs> I know it was a really, really close game, but I wasn't able to watch it as well. And, but it still is to kick off to football, mm -hmm. and we're getting ready. You know, I, I know the Panthers uh, eventually lost the game, but I think Cam Newton was really showing out last night as uh, one of the top quarterbacks in the NFL. Uh, the Broncos were like there were some questions going in, right. but uh, they showed that they actually they're still fighting and kicking. Oh yeah, most definitely. But you know, NFL, it's college, it's college. You know, we're talking about KU football, mm -hmm. one and zero, oh, mm -hmm. right? It is great to say we are one and zero. Oh. Kansas State, Missouri can't say that. <laughs> I mean, can't how say it. Uh, okay, football. Though, last week they won fifty-five to six over Rhode Island. It was their first win in almost two years. Uh, they had a, a 55 points is the most points they had scored since 2010. It was a really great showing for them. Uh, this the week, they're coming up against Ohio. Uh, what, do you, what did you see from Montel Cozart last week you're hoping to see? Well, Montel Cozart, he threw 18 for 25 mm -hmm. and um, for 199 yards. Um, surprisingly, he had eight yards per attempt. And I really think that that's going to help them. Even though he isn't a little – Ryan Willis and him are battling right now for a spot, but I really think Cozart will get the – Get the spot. You know, even though it was just Rhode Island, I think Cozart really showed like such improvement from last year. Because I know last year when we were watching him, it was just these short, uh, short drops. Anything that went deep was always incomplete or right. possibly intercepted. And last, I mean, last week I think was a huge confidence boost, not just for like the uh, KU football fans as a whole to see their team win by such a good amount, uh, but to just see Cozart himself. I mean, through through three touchdowns and almost fourth, they got picked off in the end zone. I mean, he was really showing out, and I think that was a really big key for them. Uh, so what are you kind of expecting from this week? They're playing against Ohio. Now, th this is going to be a little tough. This is going to be a tougher game. I yeah. mean, I don't, I don't think that uh, you're gonna, we're going to score 50 points. It might, it's going to be a battle, a tough battle. I feel like it's going to be grinding out, you know. But um, hopefully we can get this get 2-0, and hopefully. I believe we, we have a chance. You know, David Beatty's press conference Tuesday, he said Ohio has one of the best – secondary, or not the secondaries, their front seven is probably one of the toughest uh, front sevens in football outside of probably like an Alabama or an Oklahoma, obviously. Okay. But they have, Ohio has a very stingy defense. They, yeah. they picked off uh, their opponent last week, I believe, three or four times, not to mention covered a couple fumbles that they forced. So they have a pretty stingy defense, but through the air, they gave up a ton of points to the air. And, uh, I mean, if Cozart and Willis can light up the secondary the way they did against Rhode Island, you have to, ha you have to think the KU is going to be able to come out on top. I feel like they have a chance, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, you never know, and we'll just see what's going to happen. Yeah, you know, you know so. it's, a, it's great confidence to have fo uh, great confidence in football again, but you know who else we always have confidence in? It's KU basketball, KU. of course. You know, they're coming up in late night. Everybody's got to be excited for that. Uh, it's October 1st. Do you have any big plans for late night going to be going? Oh, most definitely. It's only mm -hmm. like 22 days away. Mm -hmm. oh, 22 yeah. and yeah. counting. And uh, counting. Yeah, late night's on October 1st again. Um, I'll be there. I'll be working it. You know, I work for Rock Track Video. We're, we're always there for that. And we haven't really started too much with it. But, you know, it's pretty exciting with all the new additions we have. Uh, and they're all so talented. We, like, you know, we lost a great amount of people uh, that were such integral parts of our team last year with Wayne and Perry. But we're gaining, I think, just with Josh and Yudoka and all these other guys. I think they're just really, really talented guys that we're really going to show out this year. Yeah, they have a really great recruiting class coming in. I feel like uh, KU has another great chance of winning the Big 12 again. What is it? It'll be 13? It should be. Uh, 13, I, 20, I would be. It so. would probably be one of the biggest shocks if they didn't win uh, 13 in a row because this, uh, the Big 12 this year, Oklahoma lost a lot. They lost Buddy Heald in the like, talented senior class. And I don't know anybody that's going to be able to top them. I don't think Iowa State's going to be able to do that. So either. KU basketball is going to be looking pretty good. Yeah, we have no worries about KU basketball. We know we know what they're going to do. Mm -hmm. They come to do, you know. So. Yep. And that's going to wrap it up for your Friday uh, sports opening segment. Stay tuned. We'll have the news with you in just a minute. Where you go to college makes a statement about you. This place will become a part of you, your identity for life.
the University of Kansas. A great place to be you. And I'm Erica Schumann, and this is your Good Morning KU News Update. Presidential candidate Hillary Clinton spoke to roughly 4,000 people in Kansas City yesterday at the National Baptist Convention. Clinton's speech outlined her vision for the country and was laced with biblical references. According to the Kansas City Star, the National Baptist Convention is the largest African-American religious organization in the United States. The newly uh, remodeled Lawrence Public Library is one of the 10 most beautiful libraries on earth or so says Wired Magazine. According to a story in the Lawrence Journalism World, Lawrence is one of the two libraries in America to make the list with the Chinatown brand of the Chicago Public Library. Campus traffic along Mississippi Street was blocked for more than an hour yesterday afternoon after heavy smoke forced the evacuation of the Spencer Art Museum. The museum is currently closed for public renovation and no injuries were reported. The NFL season kicked off last night with a rematch of last year's Super Bowl second year quarterback Trevor Seaman and a stout Denver defense led the Broncos to a 21-20 win over Carolina. The Panthers kickers Graham Gahan, Gano <laughs> missed a 50-yard field goal in the final second to steal the victory for the defending Super Bowl champions. KU will take its 1-0 record to Memorial Stadium tomorrow for a matchup against Ohio University. The Bobcats lost their first game in the season in overtime to Texas State. Saturday's game also marks the 69th annual band day, so expect a lot of high school bands and their parents to help fill the stadiums. Kickoff is at 1.30 p.m. And the Jayhawk volley volleyball team showed its grit last night in the coming, uh, coming back from a 2-1 deficit. The Lady Jayhawks railed, uh, rallied to win Game 4, 28-26, then held on to the deciding Game 5 by a narrow 15-13 score. KU is now 7-0 for the season and will play Tennessee Chattanooga this afternoon in Omaha before returning to Lawrence to lay down Northwest, or Northern Iowa on Saturday night. And that will wrap it up for today's KU News Update. Please keep watching, and after the break, Gabby will be here with the weather forecast. Put down the remote, get up, and be active. Hi, I'm Gabby Gomez, and welcome back to Good Morning KU. I'm here with your weather forecast. Yesterday we had a pretty muggy start, high 82, low 73, high humidity, a little bit of rain later on last night, about 6.62, 6 tenths of an inch. Today, kind of the same, beautiful morning so far. Later on, we will expect some thunderstorms, so around 3 or 4 o'clock, we're going to expect some rain. If you're going to be out and about, make sure you have your raincoat, umbrella, all that fun stuff. But we will have a high of 87, so that will be fun. This weekend, on the other hand, will be a beautiful weekend. Nice time to get out, enjoy the weather. Football game Saturday, high of 77. Band day as well. Go out and support your Jayhawks. Sunday, 79. Sunny, beautiful again. Same with Monday, 84. And then Tuesday, we will expect some more thunderstorms later on. That is all we have for today's episode. Please watch later on again, and we will see you guys next week.